Hello, uh, thank you for joining me today. I will be discussing a very pertinent topic, uh, the operational efficiency of higher education institutions in South Korea. This presentation is based on the study that evaluates the efficiency using a method called data envelopment analysis or uh, DEA. I'll begin. Uh, Korea's uh, higher education landscape has undergone significant expansion over the past few decades. Uh, today, we have one of the highest tertiary education enrollment rate globally, with a wide variety of universities, colleges, and vocational schools contributing to improved accessibility. However, despite these advances, there are several challenges that we need to address. First, the aging population and declining birth rates are leading to fewer university age students, which create financial pressures on higher education institutions. Second, regional disparities between universities in metropolitan and remote areas are becoming more uh, pronounced. With those in metropolitan areas often having better access to resources. Third, there is often a mismatch between the skills of graduate and what the labor market demands, leading to inefficiencies in resource utilization. These challenges highlight the need for a closer examination of how efficiently our universities are operating. This brings us to the primary objectives of this study. Uh, this study uh, aims to achieve three primary objectives. First, we need to measure the current levels of operational efficiency among higher education institutions in South Korea. Second, we want to identify the key factors that influence this efficiency. Finally, we aim to propose strategies for improvement, focusing on optimizing resource use and aligning academic outputs with industry needs. To understand the context of this study, it is important to look at previous research that has applied data envelopment analysis or DEA. In the field of higher education, DEA is a non-parametric method used to evaluate the efficiency of organizations with multiple inputs and outputs. It has been widely used in different regions and countries. 
with studies focusing on the efficiency of European higher education institutions. Malaysian universities and UK universities among others. These studies have consistently shown uh, that factors like GDP per capita, a resource allocation, and institutional policies significantly impact efficiency. For instance, higher uh, GDP per capita tends to positively influence efficiency, while higher public expenditure on education does not always correlate with higher efficiency. These findings are critical as they help us understand the variables that might influence the efficiency of universities in South Korea. I would like to explain the methodology used in this study. We applied DEA to measure the efficiency of universities in Korea by considering a set of inputs and outputs. The inputs we analyzed include the number of faculty, uh, research expenditure, library expenditures, and uh, educational infrastructures such as buildings. The outputs, on the other hand, include the number of journals, academic journals published, the number of graduates, and the employment rate of these graduates. Based on these inputs and outputs, we categorized the universities into three efficiency categories, high, moderate, and low. This classification allows us to see which institutions are performing well and which needs improvement. Let's delve into efficiency scores by institution types. The analysis revealed some interesting patterns. For private universities, we observed a skewed distribution of efficiency scores with some outliers displaying exceptionally high scores. This suggests that while some private universities are highly efficient, others are not performing as well. In contrast, national universities had more consistent scores centered around a lower range. This consistency could be attributed to uh, more uniform uh, policies and resource distribution across national institutions. However, the overall lower efficiency scores indicate that there is a still significant room for improvement. Now I'd like to discuss the factors that significantly affect efficiency. One of the most critical factors is the uh, faculty to student ratio. Our analysis 
shows that universities with an optimal ratio tend to be more efficient. Efficient resource allocation is another key factor. Universities that manage their research and library expenditures effectively and invest wisely in their educational infrastructure tend to perform better. Graduate output is also a major determinant of efficiency. Universities that produce a higher number of graduates who are able to secure employment soon after graduation are generally more efficient. This finding underscores the importance of aligning academic programs with labor market needs. In comparing low efficiency universities with those that are more efficient, we noticed some clear differences. Low efficiency universities typically have a higher number of faculty but fewer graduates. The imbalance suggests that resources are not being used optimally. Moreover, while the number of buildings is relatively high in low efficiency universities, this factor does not appear to be as critical as the number of graduates. The key takeaway here is the universities need to focus more on improving their faculty to student ratios and increasing graduate outputs to enhance their efficiencies. In conclusion, the efficiency analysis reveals significant variations among universities in Korea. High efficiency institutions are those that effectively utilize their resources to maximize output. On the other hand, low efficiency universities need to make substantial improvements in resource utilization and output generation. These findings have important implications for policymakers. University administrators and stakeholders by understanding while inefficiencies lie we can develop targeted strategies to enhance performance, ensuring that our tertiary education institutions continue to contribute meaningfully to the economy and society. Based on the analysis, here are some reasonable recommendations. First, Universities should work on optimizing faculty numbers to ensure that they align uh, with student en enrollment. Second, institutions should focus on increasing their research output as this is a key indicator of academic excellence and can contribute to higher efficiency scores. Finally, there needs to be a stronger emphasis on aligning academic programs with labor market needs to improve the employability of graduates and cons consequently the efficiency of university. As we come to the end of this presentation, I'd like to acknowledge the sources that have informed this study. These references include a range of studies that have applied DEA in different contexts, offering valuable insights into the factors influencing 
efficiency in tertiary education. Thank you for your time and attention. If you have any question, uh, feel free to contact me at the email address provided. Look forward to engage with you.